Hello children. How are you all? This is your pretty miss. I hope you all remember still, right? Because you have got ample of holidays where you have you are enjoying it to the core. Correct? Okay. So, I guess you all are free away and safe from the pandemic of corona, right? Not only you, your family, your neighbors, your relatives, everyone. So children, after such a great time which you have spent so long, let's just slightly get back to the academic. Are you ready for that? Okay. So, here as you can see here on the screen, nouns wherein they can be divided into two types that is countable nouns and uncountable nouns. So here in countable nouns, this refers to the things or objects that can be separately counted in units. Nothing but we can count them separately. For example, I have pencils here and everyone can count this, isn't it? You are aware of all the numbers till 200, correct? So here, let us count this 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, if I take up, I have pouches here. You all are fond of pouches, right? So, here I can count 1, 2, 3 and 4. Isn't it? So, we are easily able to count the number of objects here. Correct? So this refers to countable nouns. Now coming to uncountable nouns. Here it refers to the things which cannot be which cannot be separated and counted. Where you can make a mark which cannot be separated and counted in units. For this I can take up the example of sugar. As you can see here I have sugar. Can you be able to count this? How many crystals of sugar are here? No. We can just say a bowl of sugar, isn't it? The same way I have a bowl of rice. Even here we won't be able to count each grain of rice. We can just say a sack of rice. I mean a bag of rice or a bowl of rice. The same way here I have your favorite thing that is jam. Can you just count this jam? No. You can just say a box of jam. Yummy, right? So children, the these are the examples of countable and uncountable nouns. So once again, if we revise, countable nouns can be separated and counted. Uncountable nouns cannot be separated and counted. Right? Few more examples of uncountable would be water. Flow. Flow is nothing but atta. Atta in the sense, the one which, with which we make rice, uh, sorry, chapati and all. Correct? Right. Now, water. Can you count the drops of water in a, in a glass or in a bottle? No. You can just say a bottle of water or a glass of water. Right? So, this is the difference between countable and uncountable nouns. Hope you enjoyed the video and... Stay safe, stay at home and we can kick out the corona. All the best. Have a safe vacation. Bye-bye.